Derek Bros with the Conscious Resistance Network, and today we're going to talk about new documents revealing further Google censorship of the internet. That's right, Google, if you hadn't figured it out yet, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, etc. They're all full of it, and they all want to keep you in the dark. After myself and many other independent media journalists, activists, meme makers, people doing behind-the-scenes work have been reaching millions and hundreds of millions of people between 2010 till, let's say, about the election of Donald Trump, the censorship has only gotten worse and worse. And no, let's just say it right off the bat. This is not a conservative versus liberal censorship, although some of the companies may have a bias of their own. At the end of the day, if you don't toe the line, you will be censored. Before we go any further, though, I need to remind you guys to bookmark theconsciousresistance.com because, as I just said, you need to go to my website a couple times a week. Don't rely on Facebook, YouTube, etc. to keep you informed about my content, especially as we get more and more censored. It's going to be important for you to visit theconsciousresistance.com. I also invite you guys to follow us on Minds, Steam it, join our Discord channel, sign up for our text list, and if you can support, please support us on patreon.com slash Bros. You can also support by buying shirts, and of course we are running a GoFundMe fundraising campaign this whole month if you want to support there. It really does help a lot, and one of the reasons it helps me is because what I'm about to share with you guys. So, you can support in all those different ways because I need your support, because I have no more way to make a living providing information being an independent media journalist who's not willing to go into the mainstream and write puff pieces about garbage. And... One of the reasons that the mainstream media is continuing to survive and the independent media is suffering is because of stories like this. This is, of course, a new uh, expose from Project Veritas, which does lean a little bit right and conservative in some cases further than maybe I prefer. But either way, they continue to release documents and get whistleblowers to speak out from Facebook and Google. This one, Google Machine Learning Fairness, Whistleblower Goes Public, says, Burden Lifted Off My Soul. It says, video, the police began looking for me. Uh, Google sent a threatening letter to Google insider Zachary Voorhees. They knew what I had done, and the letter contained several demands. Hundreds of internal Google documents leaked to Project Veritas. News, blacklist, human raiders, YouTube CEO video. I haven't even been able to go through all of it, but we are going to talk about some of the angles here in just a moment. Google Insider wants more insiders to blow whistle. People have been waiting for this Google Snowden moment where somebody comes out and explains what everybody knows to be true. I feel that our entire election system was going to be compromised forever by this company that told the American com- the American public it was not going to do evil. Now you can watch the full interview here with you know on your own time. Uh, we're not going to go through every single piece of it. I did look at some of the documents and I've been I think living it's- with this like burden for three years. There he is. That's the guy right there. That's Zachary Voorhees. You can watch the whole thing there. Um, and the article here will break it down. There's, like I said, lots of pieces to this. The interesting thing, though, is as he was passing these documents to, um, you know, to Project Veritas, he said that you know he was starting to be targeted by Google. He received a letter from Google recently, telling them that he needs to hand over his Google computer. You know, which I guess technically as an employee is is theirs. And it included a request for any internal Google documents he may have personally retained. He sent those documents to the Department of Justice Antitrust Division. And as this was going on, recently the police, uh, or Google apparently, called in the police saying that they were worried about him um, and they wanted them to go do a wellness check on him. Sounds like some red flag law type stuff, right? And when they did so they shut down this entire area of uh, i believe it's cal yeah in california near his residence shut down the whole you know city basically just to come do a wellness check on this guys he says they got inside the gate the police and they started banging on my door and so the police decided they were going to call in additional forces they called in the fbi they called in the swat team they called in a bomb squad this is in a large way google trying to intimidate their employees that go rogue on the company and he does have some video of that we'll show in a second he talks about this being Google's Snowden moment. Um, another, you know, so some of the documents are called News Blacklight, uh, Blacklist Site for Google Now, which according to him is a blacklist which, which restricts certain websites from appearing on news feeds for an Android Google product. The list includes conservative and progressive websites such as Newsbusters and Media Matters. The documents say that some sites are listed with or because of a high user block rate. Another newly published document titled Fringe Ranking Classifier Defining Channel Quality 
lists an example of various news sites including CNN and Fox News. A document titled Fake News and Other Friends Trashy Recap reveals that videos are rated by multiple human raters. One internal Google document labeled Coffee Beans appears to show Google employees discussing diversity hiring practices and it goes on there. A related thread of communications also shows an apparent discussion about the Coffee Beans document where one Google employee expresses concern that the document appears to misrepresent Google's hiring practices in a way that could uh, raise legal questions. So it goes on from here and they have these documents nicely you know, categorized, you can download them. I've only downloaded some of them so far. There's hundreds of pages, uh, apparently. But I started off with some interesting pieces. Namely, let's start here with a document titled News Black List Site for Google Now. And you can see up here, it says manual list of sites excluded from appearing as Google Now stories to read. Results, the URLs are used with a URL matcher and should be in the format specified. And you go through here, there's torrent websites, there's Pirate Bay, uh, Daily Stormer, so you got some right-wing kind of racist websites. Start sites with high user block rate, Angry Patriot Movement, Donald Trump News, Truth Feed, Right Wing News, American Lookout. Um, and a lot of these are things I've never heard of. They're probably real small blogs that maybe some of you have picked up on. But then there are all the, also, also bigger websites which are known for reaching lots of people. There's Newsbuster.org, Libertarian Republic, Investment Watch uh, Blog, Gateway Pundit. Uh, conservative tribune i have the truth you know lots of the again websites i glenbeck.com some websites i'm not familiar with others i am louder with crowder.com of course steven crowder true pundit last american vagabond i've been on their show before guys you are getting blacklisted by google um uh, says world news politics christian post naturalnews.com of course we know natural news has been blocked for quite some time daily caller hang the bankers girls just want to have guns um, again, some of these are fairly familiar sites that I've worked with in the past in different capacities, and I recommend you guys going through and reading them for yourself. I did want to show you a few of them. Look at this. WeAreChange.org is listed, black listed uh, by Google. Drudge is uh, Liberal America, DavidIke.com, uh, Read Conservatives, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, see what else we got here and it says this is start sites with high user block rate milo website media matters godlikeproductions.com that's a website some of you probably ran across in your conspiracy research um who else we got your newswire actual garbage website so again they mix actual garbage trash websites with legitimate outlets that just don't fit the mainstream narrative daily sheeple i've seen them around and i'm not saying i endorse every single one of these sites i'm just saying you know this is what Google's doing. AboveTopSecret.com, which is a forum, probably one of the first forums I ever found on the internet back in, uh, back you know, back in the late '90s, early 2000s. Uh, let's see. I know there's other ones. CounterCurrentNews.com, BlacklistedNews.com, ActivistPost.com. Again, another website that I worked with, and I, I've written for up until recently. Uh, LouRockwell.com. We got. Uh, just all kinds of stuff here, guys. Let me just do a quick a veterans today. Of course, they're trash, so I'm not going to really cry too much about that. But should they be censored? I don't think so. I don't think that's the way. I don't think Google should have that much power. Let's see. Activist. Oh, well, it won't pull up for me. But I know Activist Post is in here listed, and the anti-media is also listed. So those are the anti-media, Activist Post, wearechange.org, the um, uh, Last American Vagabond, David Icke, all these are different people. And Telehub, that's the first website I ever wrote for. Again, I mean, these are people that I'm surrounded by working with. I'm surprised the Conscious Resistance isn't listed yet, but they might as well be because lots of the people I'm working with and allied with, antimedia.org, are also being blacklisted and just shoved out of here. And so, yeah, I mean, what other evidence do we need? Here's another document titled... Um, YouTube controversial query blacklist and it says controversial twiddler query blacklist the queries in this file will force the controversial twiddler to be trigger triggered and I'm guessing that's some kind of uh, tool that they've developed this file will be parsed uh, the data format is blank text so this is basically just a list of search terms that if you search on YouTube it'll trigger the controversial twiddler and I'm guessing that means it blocks certain videos from you viewing them or it suggests uh, you know, things they want you to look at. And wouldn't you know it, most of these 
are terms related to shootings and, and things that people have guessed might be false flags. You got the Las Vegas shooting, uh, gunmen in Vegas, all kinds of terms, hoax Las Vegas. These are things that are going to trigger their twiddler, whatever that means. Uh, but it's not just Vegas. You go further in and it talks about, dang, they do got a lot of Vegas info. They're definitely trying to keep people from looking up things about Vegas. Why would that be? I'm just curious. Why would they want to censor information that's related to Stephen Paddock and Trump and Facebook in Las Vegas? Manhattan shooting, New York shooting, lower Manhattan, New York shooting, Muslim shooting, Chris Ward church shooting, uh, Texas shooting, Sam Hyde shooter, uh, Rancho Tahama shooting in California. They got the Parkland shooting. So all these different terms, crisis actors, hoaxes, uh, are things that they're going to trigger the twiddler and who knows what happens. Again, I think the safest bet is to say that that means it won't show you the truth it won't it'll you know redirect you from videos that are going to talk about those topics to the latest cnn report telling you how everything's fine and there's nothing to worry about and you can just i know i'm scrolling fast guys but you got to go download these yourself it doesn't take long it talks about david hogg in here it says like so if you search for david hogg hoax well then you're going to get the twiddler crisis actor florida shooting conspiracy russian plane crash like all these different things uh, are going to trigger the twiddler. And there's even stuff in here about abortion. People who are searching stuff about abortion maybe having some negative health effects. Abortion is barbaric, increases risk of miscarriage. Uh, just different things related to abortion, which whether you agree with the sentiments or not, shouldn't the people be able to decide for themselves what they, you know, what they want to research and what they trust, what they trust? Uh, not apparent, uh, not according to Google, apparently. So yeah, these documents are all available on their websites. I've just been digging through them a little bit this morning. There's so much going on, guys. Now here's this from the True Pundit. Video police bomb squad and FBI surround Google whistleblowers. So this shows the story. Again, like he turned over these documents uh, to Project Veritas. And on August 5th, he was in the process of delivering a Google laptop and integral documents to the Google's department's antitrust division to show them, hey, there's actual you know, some uh, censorship going on here. And he, in this interview right here, he shows the video of him being uh, surrounded by cops. So check this out. You. This is you coming down. This, this is me coming down. You look fashionable, but the jacket I told you, don't come out with the jacket. Yeah, it was so cold. It is cold. It is so cold. You're just standing there like you robbed the bank. Like I robbed the bank. They're treating me like a criminal. Then they take you over to the side. They cuff you, right? They cuff you. They actually never cuff me, they just detain me. So they I'll put you over to the side. I was going to take the video. Mm -hmm. I also want to show you the uh, people are like, no, a bomb robot wouldn't happen, right? And like, it's going to be hard to see, but what you're going to so see here is you're going to see a robot, robot outside with the hand. Has been I mean, sent to my house because they think that something looks suspicious. They've is that two, off two, blocks two bomb off. robots, a big one and a small one. And then for some reason, my phone stopped recording because I got a call. So right there, there he is, Zach Voorhees. And you can see, if you look at it closely in this, the, I'll put all the links, of course. There was a robot outside of his house checking on him. And this is, again, because Google decided they wanted to call and go ahead and uh, check if he was okay and do a wellness check. And yeah, that's a little bit scary. Sounds like Google's afraid that their whistleblower is about to start revealing certain things. And then if you look at this, the Daily Beast, which is just so horrible because, look, the Daily Beast is out there doing good work on the Epstein case. Um, at least some of the writers are, but then of course they've attacked Ben Swan in the past and here they are attacking this whistleblower. So instead of actually addressing any of the information that he detailed, this whole article is basically just attack his character, looking at his Twitter feed and the things that he's talked about before. And again, you don't have to uh, believe everything your source believes for the information to be valuable, but this is just such a common age old tactic to just attack the character of a person and not the information. 
It says he, the Google whistleblower, loves QAnon and he accused Zionists of running the government. Oh my God, imagine that. It sounds like this guy, other than the QAnon thing, is paying attention. Um, so, you know, they just go through here and says that he's an avid promoter of anti-Semitic slanders, that the banks, the media, and the U.S. government are controlled by Zionists. He also pr- uh, pushed conspiracy theories like QAnon, Pizzagate, and the claim that vaccines cause autism. So, you know, they're doing everything they can to discredit this guy. And this is what's happened before. A previous uh, Google whistleblower, they looked into his history and said, oh, well, he might be a right-wing alt writer so don't believe anything that he says. This is just a couple of weeks ago. Internal Google memo claimed conservative whistleblower promoted alt-right views. So, I mean, what else do you guys need to know? But if you come out and speak out, they're going to attack people. They're going to try to discredit you. Apparently, Google is willing to send in the bomb squad and FBI and cops. to. Sur- this guy could have been shot, and they could have told us, you know, imagine if he was killed. Uh, and according to this report, there were snipers on the rooftop. Imagine if he was actually killed. Then they would spin the story and say, oh, well, a disgruntled Google employee who had leaked documents who he, which he believed were showing censorship went crazy. And the cops had to come in and subdue him. And, you know, they killed him. And thankfully, nobody was hurt. I mean, guys, back to what I was saying at the beginning of this video. I'm over here having conversations with my buddies, my friends who are also in the independent media. And we are at the point where people are saying, I can't do this anymore, guys. Like, I can't pay my bills. We are under attack. So all of you can sit there on your ass and be haters and tell me that I'm an e-beggar or that, oh, he's just asking for money because I'm asking for support from you. I've been creating content for almost 10 years now and on this channel for going on seven or eight years. I've been writing articles, getting paid very little since 2012. And I'm not blaming anybody but myself. This is a personal choice because I've been dedicated to this mission of spreading as much information as possible and trying to wake you guys up and wake more people up, not just sitting on my ass and complaining like a freaking armchair wannabe activist you know and so if you're not doing anything if you're not actively out there researching digging spreading the information or stealing the content that i create and putting it out further then what the hell are you doing and if you can't even do anything if you can't do anything because you're disabled because you're lazy because you're too busy working your slave job or whatever then maybe you can throw five dollars my way or throw five dollars to the mind unleashed and help us out because our websites are being blacklisted. This has been going on since right after the election. Do you guys remember? I know a lot of y'all are short-term memory people. Do you remember though, all the websites that I write for getting labeled as Russian hoax websites and saying that we were spreading propaganda and then we lost Google ad support and then we lost social media support and then they've been censoring us and drilling us down ever since. And in October, 2018, they deleted plenty of these big pages the last page we have access to is the mind unleashed has 9 million followers and we're struggling to reach 200 people they are winning they whoever you want to put at the top of the pyramid is winning they have control of the government they have control of the corporations they control and built the freaking internet and all this technology that we use and the only way we have any chance is to try to get more people to wake up so you can sit there and complain that some of us are starting to ask for support But unless you want the entire independent media to disappear and to go back to doing whatever we were doing before this, then you need to help us. So that's it. You can stop watching my videos, but I'm going to keep reminding you that I need your support and help. And this is why. Because of this censorship, these blacklists that are going on, this is the kind of stuff that we're fighting against, okay? So while you're pretending you're in some fantasy world and you think you're fighting the deep state by, you know commenting on youtube or arguing with other people in forums you're not doing shit so stand up do something and if you can't do anything for yourself you can't do anything for your community at least throw five dollars ten dollars whatever towards somebody who is doing something whether that's me or somebody else but make sure it's somebody worth something because i know here at the conscious resistance i've been working hard to not just bring you guys the latest headlines from the mainstream but to actually dig in and find real stories that matter to give you uh, information that you're not just going to find everywhere else and to bring you interesting guests. And if you if you haven't, look at our archive. Look at our archive of material since 2013. Figure out what's going on. Check out what's happening. See that we have probably an interview, an article, or some topic related to things that you care about. Name the topic. I've probably covered it in some way before. And if not, I've interviewed somebody else who has. So this is a resource for you. Make use of it before we're gone. Until next time, you are powerful, you are beautiful, and you are free. Peace.